and here we got the final output of our application that is this is a header with a logo and this is a footer this is the text content i have added notice if i scroll see the header and footer is sticky let's write the code in css how to create a sticky header and a footer to a website if you notice in this html page contains some basic html elements just for time saving i have created now in the body section i'm adding one do container inside this do container let's define one class a class called container container then another do class for the header in this whole this is the main container in this container i have a header body and the footer now this is the header header let's define the header i want to add one logo so href when a user clicks this uh, logo it will redirect class uh, logo and after that in this image source is equals to the images i am adding cupcake.jpg which is in my folder of the same project alter uh, property let's add the logo and uh, this is uh, let's close the image tag let's close the image tag and after that i am adding um, h2 site name site name header that's it it's a very simple thing i'm not adding any menus here navigation controls if you want you can check in my playlist how to create a custom navigation links now let's continue the today's tutorial to create a sticky header and footer now we we are creating um, class called body let's add the content here content content in this content i'm adding h1 tag mm, hello welcome to my channel welcome to my channel channel this is channel channel let's copy this one I'm adding some random pages, uh, some random text here, some random text. And after that, I'm defining the footer. Again, I'm adding one new con new do container, which is the class footer. Let's add the center h2 tag footer. That's it. Up to now, we have done the designing part. We have a header content, which is a body, and the footer. Now, my aim is I want to and um, when we, when i scroll this content i want to stick this header and footer visible all the time for that i'm using the css styles so first in the header section i'm adding the style element in the style element first let's html and body just uh, margin zero margin zero and padding also zero padding also zero height is around 100 percent after that let's define the container the class container so we have to specifically add the container in the container minimum height is 100 percent person position relative this is a container the main container i'm adding the height next one is the header we have a header now now this header header now in the header position is sticky 
द प्रॉपर्टी पोजिशन स्टिक की टॉप जीरो बैकग्राउंड कलर आई एम एडिंग ब्लैक पैडिंग पैडिंग आई एम एडिंग टेन पिक्सल जीरो जेड इंडेक्स थाउजेंड एंश्योर दिस जेड इंडेक्स एंश्योर द पावर ले ऑफ द कंटेंट डिस्प्ले फ्लेक्स डिस्प्ले फ्लेक्स justify content justify content space between let's add the space between now i'm adding some bottom border border bottom border bottom right radius is 10 pixels as well as instead of adding the same thing i copy and at the right i'm adding left that's it now we have a Uh, this class called logo. Copy this one. Dot logo. Display flex. Display flex. Text al align items is center. Align item center gap. I want the gap is twenty pixels. According to your requirement, you can. Adjust the uh, pixels. The color, text color, I want to display white. Text decoration is none. Padding left, padding left is twenty pixels. Now the next we require the image also. Let's add the image height. Uh, dot the image is inside the class logo, so we have to add the class logo then image. The height of the image I'm adding around 50 pixels, and uh, um, border radius. The border radius uh, around 50 pixels. So I will get the round circle image, which is our logo. Logo. Next one, content. Let's take this content here. Content also a class. So I'm adding the content. Content. Padding bottom, fifty pixels, and padding left, thirty pixels. The padding left means it will give some gaps. The start, uh, starting the content after the thirty pixels from the left. Now the final step is we have a footer. Let's copy this one and add here footer also a class. So I'm adding dot. Footer. Now in the footer, the same thing. Position we need to add the sticky, sticky, uh, sticky. Then border radius, border top radius. Here we have added bottom now. So now we require the top radius. So the top radius, border, top, right radius. Border top left radius ten pixels, and bottom um, bottom is zero. Width around hundred percent. Height is fifty pixels. According to your requirement, you can adjust the height and width. Um, and also background color is black color, and the color is white. The text color of the footer is white. Text align center. That's it. We have done the complete coding part. The CSS styles to make our website footer and header is sticky, always visible. Let's save this file to check the final output of our application. Go to File, Save. To check the final output of our application, we need to open the File Explorer. Let's open that one. The folder I have created in the E drive, and the folder name is a JavaScript, and this is our file name, Sticky Footer. Let's check that one. See here, Sticky Footer. Let's open that one. And here we got the final output of our application. Notice this is a header with a logo, and this is the footer. This is the text content I have added. Notice if I scroll, see the header and footer is sticky. 
which have created using only CSS styles, pure CSS styles. Thanks for watching this video tutorial. Please subscribe, share and leave your valuable comment. We'll catch you in my next video tutorial.